Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to talk about a classic West Coast pass concept called base pass. Something I've used since 1997. We call it a stubble concept for stop and bubble combination. We'll do a six man pro, then we'll show it out of five man. The key point here is the quarterback reads the same defender with both six and five man pro, but we change the receiver progression. Let's take a look. All right, first off, this is a boundary pass concept. We're going to go ahead and set the protection and release the back towards the X receiver. Out of a two by two set, you can see we're going to have the H running a spot route at seven yards, finding that open spot between the Sam and the Mike. The X and the Z both will run now eight yard stop routes. And then we're going to go ahead and have the A run a bubble and sit out in the flats with the B checking the mic to the Sam and running a swing to the flats. Real simple progression. Then quarterback is going to take a quick three step drop step reading inside out, looking for the H on the spot, focusing on the Sam backer to that side. If we get inside of him, we'll just hit him now. Sam sits on that, then we'll look to the stop route by the X on the outside, and then down to the back swinging. If we feel at pre-snap we have best access to the Z and the A receiver side, then he'll still go one to the H, but now we'll go focus on that will backer and go two to the Z on the stop, and then the bubble to the A in the flats. If we run it out of three by one, nothing changes. H is going to go ahead and still run his spot, but now he's going to leverage between the near backers being the mic and the will. We still will call this protection into the boundary, but the quarterback's progression again will be H back first, and then he simply will go 2-3 to the side he has best access. I love running this out of a five-man pro solo pro where we're going to free release the back because it's a relatively quick pocket pass. And what it does is now it tells the quarterback to read his same key, the Sam in this case, out of two by two, but now changes progression from swing to the back first, X on the outside to the H on the inside. So we go shallow, outside, in. Great way to get your back involved and control what you want the quarterback to do in his thinking and in his progression. Last, we'll do the same thing out of three by one. Again, we're going to call this into the boundary to the X, but we're going to go ahead now and pick best, best access, thinking one to the back if we go to the left, or one to the bubble for the A if we go to the right. Again, outside in. Again, simple, easy way to get your completion percentage up, but again, with the solo free release, thinking shallow, to outside to inside, we can help control the quarterback's thinking and make it easier for your young quarterbacks to your old quarterbacks to improve their completion percentage on a consistent basis. Thanks.